hi everyone welcome to today's video today i'll be using some alternate flowers and my faber castle pencils to color these gorgeous blooms i use some somerset um, 175 gsm gradient white paper for this stamping today and my pencils just work absolutely fantastic on this paper so i've stamped uh, using i stamped the image using some distress uh, ink in anti -clinin. I've created a mask and then I'll add the leaves uh, around the flower. I created two cards today and the second one is comparatively very elaborate and detailed. It involved a lot more flowers and uh, a lot of time required for, to do the pencil coloring. But this small version is the exact same technique and I wanted to share this with you. I have used my Faber-Castell polychromos uh, and they are spectacular they are very creamy and it was so much fun to color these blooms and i have achieved a no line coloring so i'll share both the cards at the end and i'm sure you'll enjoy and uh, you'll appreciate the way the result has come up and uh, this would need a little practice and a lot of patience for sure but then uh, the end result is worth it so i'll stop speaking here you can see how i colored all the images the leaves and the flowers and you just basically have to pick up few shades of uh, greens and red or the color whichever you've decided to work with so here i'm using uh, around four to five pencils and uh, i'll see if i want to add them because the right amount of shadow and depth is very very important when we work with flowers so I'm using a very light hand initially and uh, just putting the color. I don't want the paper to become very smooth right away because then we won't be able to add more color on top of it. So initially you go very light and then once you're happy, just you can start building the color and putting more pressure. So this is, uh, this painting required around uh, half an hour to 45 minutes and uh, but i've sped it up for you so that you can enjoy the way i colored so the leaves uh, they were around four shades of greens which i've used and uh, adding the darkest at the bottom and the lightest at the top now coming to the petal i decided to make it a red flower and uh, again i've used two shades of red which are comparatively darker and two of the pale pinks so uh, I'll stop speaking here. You can just enjoy how I painted this and I'll catch you up once it's done.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed how I colored this and now coming to the flower center, I used uh, a little brown and then I used the stamp again, inked it partially and uh, stamped the pollens right away. This is the finished card and I hope you enjoyed it. This is the second card which I was talking about. Similar technique but a little elaborate. I totally had a lovely time doing this and uh, I'm planning to do some more pencil coloring in future. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.